Hello gamers and welcome back to another video. So today I decided that I should remake the top 5 best assault rifles list. Because the M16A4 is getting unnerved, the A94 was nerfed, and armor piercing was also nerfed. And most of the assault rifles in the last list is just not as good anymore. And no, the HK416 won't be in this list, it simply just isn't good. So don't go into the comments and ask why it isn't here, and I will not include the M16A4 even though it's still broken in the main game, since it's gonna receive a nerf very very soon. So well, let's start the list. At number 5 we have the AK-47 slash AKM. These guns are both incredibly powerful, reasonable recoil assault rifles. The AK-47 is statistically better than the AKM, but I just have a bias for the AKM since I got a 179 kill game with it a while back. But the AKM, no wait, the AK-47 has 42 to 30 damage with a damage range of 80 to 160 studs. So this gun can basically 2 hit kill headshot up to like 110 studs, and within 80 studs it can kill with only one headshot and one limb shot, which is pretty powerful. The AKM is slightly weaker with 39 to 28 damage with the same damage range as the AK-47. So it's a 2 hit kill headshot up to like 90 studs and a 4 hit kill all ranges, which is pretty good. The AK-47 is just more powerful, but the AKM is also pretty powerful. Both of these guns have a have pretty high recoil, with the AK-47 AK having slightly lower overall recoil, but higher kick. While the AKM has lower kick, but higher horizontal recoil, which is the worst type of recoil. Both of these guns are basically identical except damage and recoil. They both have 600 RPM, they both have the same damage range, they both have the same muscle velocity, and they both have the same armor penetration, and they both have the same type of bullet. But currently, the AK-47 is better than the AKM, but as I said before, I have a slight bias for the AKM. The setup, the setup that I use for the AK-47 is a reflex sight, compensator, folding grip and green laser. And don't even bother using hollow point on the AK-47, since it only makes it a 2 hit kill limb up to like 25 studs. Which is way worse than a 2 hit kill with 1 headshot and 1 limb shot up to 80 studs. And a 2 hit kill headshot up to 110 studs. So yeah, just uh, avoid using hollow point on the AK-47 despite what other people say. The setup that I use for the AKM is Reflex Sight, Compensator, Stubby Grip and Green Laser. I don't know, the, the setup is pretty straightforward, it works well and it reduces the recoil. Well, that's what you want. But enough about the AKs. At the first spot we have the gun that we all thought was kinda meh after the balance change, but it's actually quite good. The G36. The G36 got changed a while back to have 25 minimum damage and a recoil change. A lot of people considered, it, considered this a nerf, but in my opinion it was a pretty big buff. The G36 doesn't even have that bad of recoil, and it has 25 min damage, which means it can 4 kill all ranges to the limb, which is insane. And armor piercing is actually effective on this gun since it doesn't change the hit to kill at all. It's still gonna be a 3 to 3 hit to kill headshot and a 4 to 4 hit to kill limb. So you get more pen penetration for the loss of nothing. This gun sure isn't what it used to be, but it's not a bad gun at all. Its 750 RPM can yeet people at any range combined with its damage of 31 to 25. The damage range doesn't really matter since the gun always has the same hit to kill at any range. And this gun, gun also has an insane muscle velocity for some reason. It has 2700 studs per second muscle velocity. If you put it into perspective, it's the same as Steyr's Scout. I don't know, it's really weird. But anyways, the setup that I use for this gun is Reflex Sight, Compensator, Folding Grip and Armor Piercing. I use Armor Piercing because as I said before, it doesn't change the hit to kill and only add penetration. Which is quirky. But yeah. And that's the G46, but let's get on to the third spot in this quirky list. At the third spot we have the AS Val. The AS Val is insane at CQC to medium range. It isn't that effective at long range, but it's still usable because it basically has no recoil. The AS Val has 34 to 20 damage with a damage range of 50 to 85 studs, which is pretty short, but it can still free kill limb up to 50 studs and a 5 hit kill limb up past 85 studs, which is pretty good, but that isn't the redeeming quality of this gun. 
The redeeming quality is its, is its integral suppressor, no recoil and a very high fire rate of 900 RPM, which all combined makes it a busted weapon. But you might now think, hey, this gun only has 20 bullets, how could it be good? I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys already know this, but some don't for some reason. The ASVAL has an extended magazine attachment, which makes the ASVAL able to have 30 bullets in a magazine instead of 20. But it reduces the uh, reserve ammo from 120 to 90, which isn't a huge drawback, but it could be really annoying at some points because you have such a high fire rate weapon, so you lose all bullets pretty quickly. But as I said before, it has an integral suppressor, so you don't even show up on the radar if you shoot, which is a huge pro if you like going sneaky beak like around the map. But yeah, this gun is incredibly quirky, and the setup that I use for it is a reflex sight, folding rip, and extended magazine. If you're wondering what I'm not, why I'm not using a muscle attachment, it's because it's literally impossible to put one on the as well, since it has an integral suppressor that hinders the use of muscle attachments. But yeah, that's the AS Val. At the second spot, we have a gun with an extremely high skill ceiling, and that gun is the M231. The M231 is an incredibly hard gun to use in the start, but if you get the recoil down to muscle memory, that means you know how that basically means you know how much you always need to pull down for the recoil. Since this gun has higher vertical recoil than any other weapon in this game. It fires at 1225 RPM, which is higher than the Vector, and it has a damage of 35 to 25 and a damage range of 90 to 150 studs, which means it can free kill up to like 100 studs and 4 kill past that, which makes it a perfect gun in CQC to close medium range, and don't even bother use, to use this gun at long range since you won't hit anything. But yeah, this gun is literally one of the best CQC, CQC guns in the entire game because of its high max damage and high fire rate. But its drawback is its insanely high recoil, which makes it hard to use for new players, but incredibly useful for skilled players. So you use this gun if you want to take on a challenge. And it has a reserve ammo of 150 bullets, which is, which is a lot unlike, let's say, the ASVL's 90 bullets. But yeah, the setup that I use for this gun is just a reflex sight, compensator, folding grip and green laser. I know you M231 users will find this incredibly weird, but it's because the reflex sight has the least magnification so I don't have to pull down as much like the iron sights. And I use compensator because it just makes the grouping tighter in general. It doesn't help with the initial kick, but it helps the grouping later on. But good luck if you want to use this gun, I believe in you. And at the number one spot, we got the gun that has been amazing for literally 9,000 years. The L85. Think of the L85 as a no recoil G46. It has 28 to 25 damage, which means its hit to kill is the same at all ranges. It's a 3 to 3 hit to kill, hit to kill headshot and a 4 to 4 hit to kill aim shot. This just makes this gun a base at medium range to long range. It has 700 RPM, the damage range doesn't matter, and AP is actually useful on the gun since it's the same principle as the G46, AP doesn't change hit to kill. So it just increased armor penetration, which is pretty good. The setup that I usually use for this gun is just reflex sight, compensator, folding grip, and armor piercing. But you can also use the muscle break if you don't like the vertical recoil. But yeah, that's the list. I hope you enjoy. Hey, the five isn't the best assault rifle. Wait. The Elite 5 isn't the best assault rifle in this list. There's the better one, okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, well, okay. It seems there's an assault rifle better than the Elite 5. And it's the unexpected weapon known as the AK 12. I didn't want to in include the AK 12 or originally since it's gonna receive a nerf pretty soon, but it hasn't received it yet. So, whatever. The AK 12 has a burst fire rate of 1000 RPM. Its damage is 32 to 20 damage, which is pretty mediocre. It can 4 kill limit CQC and 5 kill limit LRC, which isn't the best, but as I said, it has a 1000 RPM burst, and it basically has no recoil. So what happens if you put a 5 hit kill at range with no recoil and a 1000 RPM? Well, you get a better M6 and A4. This gun is so insane, I don't know how to feel. It's literally a rank 0 gun for god's sake. 
But whatever, the setup that I use for this gun is a reflex sight, muscle break, folding rip and green laser. I use muscle break because it's basically it basically has no horizontal recoil so you only need to reduce the vertical recoil. But yeah, that's the list. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the list, like if you agree with me, press the like button. If you really enjoyed it, press the subscribe button. If you hated it, uh, kill me. Um, buy my merch even if I don't have any. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.